A new day, a new project. Look what I got here. A QSC Professional Power Amplifier USA 1300. I've been looking for so long for this power amplifier. It's a classic, I may say. It's heavy, but it's a damn good sound in it. So this is a classic AB amplifier and goes up to two times 1000 watts on two ohms and it's working stable and uh, so this kind of amplifier it's brilliant and uh, it have a really fluffy bass sound it's nice and natural and that's the reason why i've been searching for so long and finally i got me one the point is that this needs to be cleaned and this is something really nice. Oh man, it's so heavy. It's so nice because the owners, the line of owners, I may say, because I suppose it was in many hands before, they already planted here this kind of uh, spicon outs. And this is great because it was exactly what I, I was intended to do. I don't know the year of fabrication, but the original they didn't have this kind of spicones because in those times there was no spicone and here we have also xlr inputs in parallel with the classic jacks now i want to dismantle to clean the fan you see it's a lot of dust over there maybe to oil a little bit the motor as i can see so now it's time to dismantle and to see what's inside this beast This is out, it's full. I call this spider web, dust and everything. I'm really happy to see the spider webs because that means it's not open for a long time. And this is really great. We got this, how is this working? Just like that? Man, this is too easy, voila. There are connectors over there. I have to take those out and to pick up and to take the board out. Nice. This is a very good sign. So if the connectors are going very hard off, ah, that means they are still good. And what about this swap? Oh yeah. Finally, so everything in here it's Motorola MG5022 with MG5023. They are absolutely original. See the other side, there is no intervention here. But I see somebody replaced the electrolytic capacitors. We have a Rubicon 2200 microfarads to 100 volt. So let's do some more cleaning. It's never enough. Uh, it's a lot of dust over here. We get rid of it. A lot of dust. This is a really good sign. That means nobody was working on it. And I can see all the screws here, they are pretty rusty and that's a really good sign. I think if you have a car and it's getting rusty, you are really sad. But here, if I see rust on the screws, that means that nobody touched them for long. Well, it's time to check the motherboard. Well, down here, it's a disaster. I, I don't really know how to start it. Okay, like this maybe. There we have the piece of resistance, the transformer. This transformer is huge. This is really nice. And that means real power. No class D bullshit. It's a class AB, very classic and uh, strong. Easy to fix too. And as I can see, these transistors, they are untouched too. And this is a very good sign. 
Well, I think I have to take this out to the power supply. Here we have the connection to the fan. And over here, the other power connector. Perfect. And down here, we have all the connections from the main transformer. And uh, you can see there are two secondary goes to the bridge rectifiers and afterwards to the electrolytic uh, capacitor and we have like 90 volts it's 93 volts by the schematic and there is the connection for 230 volts you have different colors over there but the best is to write down the colors and make your own list about that So it's looking like these have been repainted for many times, but I really don't care because it's not this one, the show, I am the show. So nobody's looking at this. This is looking great. I mean, it, it's looking like the original screws. Yes, they are. Whoa. Easy, baby. Don't go without me. So we have here a switch that's for stereo and bridge. So uh, the capacitors on the motherboard are uh, Nichicon 2200 microfarads to 100 volts. It's looking like they are the originals. They didn't been replaced. Hopefully they are good. That should be enough. So what I can say for now, and it's easy to see, the boards are not the same. The transistors looks to be the same. So we got 18 transistors on each channel. 18 transistors, that means 36 transistors for the both boards. A little contact spray before anything. Okay. And here too. Perfect. The relay. I'm not opening the relay. I don't want to do that. Okay. This LED was out of place we don't touch anything so these are pretty clean now let me have the the inside box 1093 maybe this was the year when it was made in 1993 i don't care i'm not sure i don't even know when this model came okay so let me take the fan out. We have two big screws over here. I can say it's built like a tank. Ah, I tell you for sure, this one was not open for decades. This is so funny. This is a real, real fan. 16 watts straight to the mains. No PWM modulation or anything. It's a fan like a, I don't know, like a heater <laughs> fan. It's a very important element for heating and having the heat under control. So, uh, so we have to take care of it. Very serious. It's looking good now, uh, oiled and uh, back to work. Made in USA, nice. So let me clean this, the fan case, it's a mess. That's enough for now. And we have a small 
I see over here, this is NA5532N. And as long as I'm here, I'm gonna have some contact spray here too. I can say that uh, the XLR, they are originally here. This speak on connection is nice. All the loudspeakers today, all the cabinets are using speak ons. I think that should be okay for now. Let's put the things back. Let me start with the fan. So board number one, let's say it's in place. The LED for clipping and signal power, they are all in place over there. The next step is to have back this board. Everything is fine in place. And let's have the screws back. I don't have a loudspeaker here, but we'll do some real tests a little bit later in the to the rehearsal room but at least we can see if everything is fine and we got no blowing fuses or something on and that's it i'm gonna have a really working test a little bit later to the rehearsal room okay so finally the job is done so uh, the amplifier is connected now to the soundcraft mixer and it sounds very good i'm pretty satisfied about that let's go boys so we just we had some recording about that's pretty good yeah he was a good man and that's it thank you so much i'll be back with some other projects as soon as i have uh, some new ideas in the meantime don't forget to have fun and be safe bye bye